welcome back to another video. Um, I hope you are all well. Um, so today is Sunday, so it's actually Father's Day today, so a big happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, and I hope you all have a great day. Um, right, um, a bit more of an update. Um, we're, we're getting close to paint. Um, hasn't been easy. Um, we are actually under the gazebo, as you can see, which I've had to sort of erect over the car. Um, just trying to do the body work and everything else. We are over here in the UK, we either have a sunny day or the next day it's raining. So, um, yeah, get this up to, to help keep the rain off. Um, so we're on the urge of just finishing up the welding. I've got two areas to finish, um, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but that's my aim to hopefully get finished today and then I can then concentrate on just rubbing down the body, um, ready for paint. Um, but what I do, let me turn the phone around and then I can walk through everything and show you where we're at. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm trying to erase the shadow. Um, so basically, that was the um, new arch refitted. Um, almost done now with the filler work. Um, there's just a little bit more down there I've got to finish. Um, but that's done. This was a big bumper panel, so I had the two holes here. Um, I welded a square in there and then I filled it and I've sort of played around with the filler to get the natural sort of look on the other side. Um, which I almost, it's, I'm, yeah, am I happy with it? I, I think I could do it better, but I would have been there for a while trying to get it. You're not going to see it, it's going to be under the bumper. Um, so yeah, that's how it's going to stay. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with the result. Um, all the glass is all out. Um, Next one is the window screen um, because I need to repair that panel down there. Um, but that will be the last repair job. Um, the other bits around the side. Um, wings are on. Um, this one is sort of sitting where I'm happy with. Um, so we've just got to obviously finish filling down a few areas. I have ordered a brand new front valance. So that's just an easy prep and paint. So I haven't got, the other one had quite a few dents and stuff in them, so I haven't got to worry too much about that. Um, the rear end of the car, um, we're still working on. Um, unfortunately, there was a hole there. Um, so I have cut that out, treated it, and I will be welding a little square panel in today. Um, and here, this was quite annoying, um, this section. Originally it had a dent. Now this is really thin and flimsy back here. Um, now it kept popping out and when you close the boot or you push on it, um, it would flex. Um, so I've had to play around with it. Um, I have no dent pillars, nothing like that. Um, I got it to the point where it wasn't a massive dent, don't get me wrong, um, but I managed to get it into a position where it wasn't flexing. Um, it is solid now and I've just had, unfortunately I've had to put a bit of filler in there just to get the, the finished result. Um, realistically if I wanted to make it perfect I would have cut it outwards in a new panel but um, you could say it wasn't huge and with time running out that I've, I've gone down this option. I don't like using filler if I don't have to um, but it's just going to give us that result we need. Um, and as you see I'm, I'm actually playing around with this new filler um, it, so it comes um, out of the can, you don't need to mix it with hardener um, and it's great for small scratches, stone chips um, stuff like that, so any little rust imperfections that I've treated I'm actually going over that and it is actually really good stuff um, I will find a picture of it and add it to the video um, but highly recommend it for them small jobs and just them finishing details um, it, 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 just, it just helps, so um, really good product um, over here, um, obviously fuel tank is off at the moment. Now reason being, there was a hole just there. And if you can sort of see in there, I've sort of I've covered it in seam seal and stuff now. Um, but I've had to put a plate there and a plate there. Today's job is to get the fuel tank on and get this bracket lined up. Um, and then the fuel tank can go back in. Um, so that's, that's today's plan. Um, and here as well. Um, if it focuses, um, I had to build a plate in here, and here is where the natural holes on these. Um, now I haven't been able to find the sort of tape they use, um, 
So what I've done, I've gone with a, a gather tape over the hole with um, like a, like a, an adhesive uh, and help stick it. Seam sealed over it. Um, I've now got to go over it again in under seal. Um, but yeah, it's it's the best I can do. I couldn't find the actual tape that they use. So, um, but that's all on there. Um, and I've touched that, can't really see, but there was a bit of rust along there. That's all been treated as well. And then yesterday as well, I've replaced that section of the rear seal. Um, this side wasn't that bad. It was only this back bit and the front bit. Um, so I'm only changing the ends and I had to do a bit of construction inside um, to strengthen it all up, but happy with that. And then if we go, I'll show you inside here as well. Unfortunately, um, some numpty in the past has jacked the car up on the floor. Um, which one obviously cracks the under seal and everything else, it allows moisture to get in and it causes rust. Um, if I was being picky, yeah, I would cut this section out and put a new floor in, but weren't that bad. Um, and I've just strengthened it up inside. Um, here, there, there's like a, like a join, um, one bit of metal sits on top of the other. And that was just a bit rotten, so I've just cleaned it back and strengthened it up, put a new plate in, and there was a tiny little hole here, um, again, which I strengthened up, and there was a tiny, tiny little um, rust there as well, which I've just cleaned up, put plates in, just to strengthen it up. Um, but, yeah, it's, it, that'll do. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I say I don't want to go out cutting all the floor out if I don't really want to. The underneath is, is fine. Um, so I'll just give this a lick of paint, the same colour as the car. Um, and that would be great, be, that, that was sorted. All the dashes out as well, ready to repair that corner. And the other bit I need to repair today is, can't really see, but basically behind this wing, it's just gone now, and you might be able to see, just there where it found the MOT. So I'm gonna replace that section, um, and that's done. And this door, um, I'm gonna have to, do some repairs to there's a bit of an indent there which i do need to try and pop out um again i don't want to fill it with filler and there's a tiny hole in the bottom of the door just there um so i do need to rectify that um this wing was new um which is all primed ready to go um i'll just show you the boot as well um it's a bit breezy in there, but so about the noise. Um, so up here, this is where I've done that massive repair. Um, so what I've done yesterday, I had a bit half a can left over of this paint from the engine bay. So I've, I gave it a good clean and gave it a bit of a spray up to see what it come out like. And you know what? Absolutely beautiful. Really happy with that. There are a few areas where it's showing a bit of sand marks, um, which realistically, yeah, I could smooth it out, but it's not going to be on show. There's going to be carpet and over this, but I just wanted it done fairly properly. I wanted it in the same colour as the car, um, but generally, yeah, I'm happy with the salt. I'm not going to worry about painting these bits. Um, it's going to be a rubber case going over this, and you're not going to see it. Um, but it's just going to make it tidy. Also, if you remember as well, I had to do the repair here and up there, and there was a hole here as well, which has been plated and um, round back the world's half and then obviously filled over it as well um it looks messy at the minute so you have to excuse it but basically along here was quite rusty so i've treated it and managed to get it all welded um and what i've done i've ground it back and then i've just put a seam seal over it and down here um just so it's all seam sealed and rather protected um and here which i've just got finished rubbing this bit down um and that's that section done that can go and paint as well gave this a little first coat um, which we're just in the middle of just giving it a bit of a wet dry just to smoothing it off um, and that'll be good for its final coat um, but we've got a lot of cleaning up in the boot anyway like I say it's going to be painted from this section forwards um, I'm picking up the high build primer tomorrow um, I'm not going to be priming the boot but the rest of the car will be in high build primer two coats um, and then on to the base coat um, so yeah that is where we're at um, coming along nicely the um, got another new heater matrix. This one's already been stripped down. It's got a new heater matrix and it's also had the um, blades repaired. If I can climb over, I'll show you. Um, 
so they've been padded up as well normally this all breaks up um so that's a better one that was in the car so that's going to go in today as well um so yeah hopefully i'm hoping by next weekend to have the car in primer that's the aim um and um almost ready for the show but um i'll, I'll lend it here um and i'll try and get some pictures of the repairs we do later and i'll catch up with you soon